polyps of colon and rectum. Introduction A colon polyp is a small clump of cells that forms on the lining of the colon. Polyps are one of the most common conditions affecting the colon and rectum. Polyps are abnormal cells that grow on the lining of the colon. Colorectal polyps can grow in any part of the colon. Most often, they grow in the left side of the colon and in the rectum. While the majority of polyps will not become cancer, certain types may be precancerous. Colon polyps found in the early can be removed safely and completely. Definition An intestinal polyp is any mass of tissue that arises from the bubble wall and protrudes into the lumen. Colonic polyps, also known as colorectal polyps, are abnormal growths that start in the inner lining of the colon or rectum. Some polyps are flat while others have a stalk. Categories of polyps Polyps on the basis of pathology There are two main categories of polyps, non-neoplastic and neoplastic. Non-neoplastic polyps include hyperplastic polyps, inflammatory polyps and hamartomatous polyps. Non-neoplastic polyps typically do not become cancerous. Inflammatory polyps may be seen with ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease of the colon. Although the polyps themselves are not a significant threat, having ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease of the colon increases overall risk of colon cancer. Neoplastic polyps include adenomas and serrated types. Most colon polyps are adenomas. Serrated polyps may become cancerous, depending on their size and location in the colon. In general, the larger a polyp, the greater the risk of cancer, especially with neoplastic polyps. Polyps on the basis of size. Small polyps large polyps. Risk factors. Factors that may contribute to the formation of colon polyps or cancer include age. Most people with colon polyps are 50 or older. Inflammatory intestinal conditions, such as ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Family history. People are more likely to develop colon polyps or cancer if they have a parent, sibling or child with them. If many family members have them, risk is even greater. In some people, this connection isn't hereditary. Tobacco and alcohol use. Radiation exposure radiation therapy. Obesity and lack of exercise. Race. African Americans are at higher risk of developing colon cancer. Type 2 diabetes that isn't well controlled. Causes. Healthy cells grow and divide in an orderly way. Mutations in certain genes can cause cells to continue dividing even when new cells aren't needed. In the colon and rectum. This unregulated growth can cause polyps to form. Polyps can develop anywhere in large intestine. Symptoms Colon polyps often cause no symptoms. Some people with colon polyps experience Rectal bleeding This can be a sign of colon polyps or cancer or other conditions, such as hemorrhoids or minor tears in anus. Change in stool color Blood can show up as red streaks in stool or make stool appear black, Melina. A change in color may also be caused by foods, medications and supplements. Change in bubble habits. Constipation or diarrhea that lasts longer than a week may indicate the presence of a large colon polyp. But a number of other conditions can also cause changes in bubble habits. Pain. A large colon polyp can partially obstruct bubble, leading to crampy abdominal pain. Iron deficiency anemia. Bleeding from polyps can occur slowly over time, without visible blood in stool. Chronic bleeding robs body of the iron needed to produce the substance that allows red blood cells to carry oxygen to body, hemoglobin. The result is iron deficiency anemia, which can make client feel tired and short of breath. Diagnostic evaluation. History taking. It includes a thorough medical, surgical, family, dietary, medicine, occupational, socio-economic, and personal history. Physical examination. Assessment of the abdominal sign and symptoms, location, intensity, duration and frequency of pain with precipitating factors and relieving factors. Auscultation for the bubble sound. Inspection for abdominal distension, redness, vascular abnormalities or enlarged tissue masses or node. 
Percussion of the abdomen for dullness, flatness or hollow sound. Palpation for abdominal tenderness, masses or lymphadenopathy. Colonoscopy. During this procedure, a camera attached to a thin, flexible tube is threaded through the anus. This allows doctor to view the rectum and colon. If a polyp is found, the doctor can remove it immediately or take tissue samples for analysis. Sigmodoscopy. This screening method is similar to a colonoscopy, but it can only be used to see the rectum and lower colon. It can't be used to take a biopsy or a sample of tissue. Barium enema. For this test, the doctor injects liquid barium into rectum and then uses a special x-ray to take images of colon. Barium makes colon appear white in the pictures. Since polyps are dark, they are easy to identify against the white color. CT colonography. This procedure uses a CT scan to construct images of the colon and rectum. After the scan, a computer combines the images of the colon and rectum to produce both 2 and 3 D views of the area. A CT colonography is sometimes called a virtual colonoscopy. It can show swollen tissues, masses, ulcers, and polyps. Stool test. The doctor will give client a test kit and instructions for providing a stool sample. Client will return the sample to the doctor's office for analysis, especially to test for microscopic bleeding. This test will show if client has blood in stool, which can be a sign of a polyp. Stool DNA test. It finds the precancer's cell's DNA in stool. Management. The best way to treat colonic polyps is to remove them. The doctor will likely remove polyps during a colonoscopy. The polyps are then examined under the microscope to see what type of polyp it is and if there are any cancer cells present. Doctors can usually get rid of polyps without performing surgery. However, client may need surgery to remove the polyps if they are large and can't be removed during a colonoscopy. In most cases, this can be done by laparoscopic surgery. This type of surgery is minimally invasive and uses an instrument called a laparoscope. A laparoscope is a long, thin tube with a high-intensity light and a high-resolution camera at the front. The instrument is inserted through an incision in the abdomen. Once your surgeon has a visual of colon, they'll remove the polyps using a special tool. A pathologist, or someone who specializes in tissue analysis, will check the polyps for cancerous cells. Complications Bleeding Obstruction Diarrhea constipation Development of cancer Intestinal perforation So guys, thanks for watching my video. You can like and comment on my video, but don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.